Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and retirement worth having. When we're trying to figure out how to do that, we have to know what our goals are and where we are headed in our life. I see a lot of young people running around the community with clearly no goals on in life because they're not thinking about how they look, how they present themselves, or what they seem like to a business owner who might go, gosh, you seem like a bright fellow or a bright gal. I might like to employ you in my business. We also have young people who are participating in thug type of reality. Their concept of thug reality is I'm going to pay you, and by paying you, I can take my anything I want from you. And that is a lie, they've told themselves. It is an old slave owner's concept in a way, but it's worse than a slave owner. It's one of those people that says, I'm going to human traffic you. I'm going to sexually assault you. I'm going to prey upon your life because you're impoverished. You don't know me from Adam, little person. And that's what I usually say to people. And I sort of prove it in the intellectual conversations that I have with people, that they are not blown away by me, but they're like, okay, he's nothing like those people there. And they know that once they talk with me. The problem is the players in the community don't like that. They try really hard to be like me. They literally listen on their phones to videos that I make. And I wonder, who the hell gave them the video channel? I never gave them that. What is the person who immorally got their hands into my computers, into my cell phone, into my bags, and took information that wasn't theirs? Who is the gossip in the community that's been spreading around information about me? You see, there's no one that I'm targeting for business in this community any longer. I modestly have a few relationships left after someone obliterated my rights to go through the community to prepare a concept of a new mission of how to feed people. But here's what I know. The players in the shelters, the immoral people in the not-for-profits, they all liked my program. But then they decided to play it around town for their own benefits. Even some people that I shared the copies with have started to use it, probably at Christmas time, to feed their family, to do what they want, to get gift cards for their, their Christmas gifts, and that wasn't what my program was about. I've had business cards come in and out of my pockets, and I have to ask you, thug, who the motherfuck gave you the right to put your hands in a man's wallet or in his pockets or in any of his briefcases or any of his baggage? Do you really want that happening in your world, at your house, in your things? How do you feel about that? You see, if you do it to others, be, be clear that the golden rule is true, that God will do that to you.